Hey everybody, this is Stormland. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. So, the notorious Garrison Brewery from Halifax, Nova Scotia is at it again. This time they're coming up with a beer that, uh, a kind of beer that I have almost never enjoyed. So, cats and heat. I apologize. One thing you'll notice about her is that she'll never make that stupid noise, alright? Alright, so we got a premium Pilsner here, boys and girls. I hate Pilsners, so if I'm going to like this beer, Garrison has done it again, alright? It's a little bit different from your average Pilsner, alright? It says Czech, Dutch, and Sco uh, Scotian uh, around the circle here, as you can see. Czech, Dutch, and Scotian. Not Scotian, Scotian. Um, okay, this this is a lager, okay, but but it, it says pills for some reason, so it's really making me feel like it's going to be a, a pilsner. Um, it's a 4.8% ABV, and it's at 500 milliliters per bottle. Now, the whole point of Czech, Dutch, and Scotian that I'd like to bring up to your attention here is that it says, proudly crafted by Garrison Brewing using Czech hops, German yeast, and Blue Nose Spirit. So, booyah, people. Um... It says, it also says, Nazra, Naz, Na, Zdravi, and Procit, and Sociable. So, I don't, I don't know, maybe that's Sociable in a couple other different languages. Um, so, yeah, proudly crafted using Czech hops, German yeast, the Blue Nose Spirit. There we go, I just said that. All right, so uh, for those who don't know where Halifax, Nova Scotia is, it's in Canada. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do this beer a little justice since I thought it was a Pilsner to begin with. Um, I'm going to be drinking it out of a Pilsner glass. Uh, here goes, people. Actually, left a little bottle opener right here. Bam! All right, we got the typical old Garrison Brewery cap here. Uh, it's a cannon pointing, if you're looking at it, uh, northeast. It's the best I can tell you. All right, so here goes. Again, to fill people in out there, I don't really pick up on the nose, uh, the, the nose too much because I only... Uh, can breathe out of one nostril. It's either this nostril or that uh, nostril, and it changes frequently throughout the day, and I don't even notice. But uh, it does have an effect on my my uh, nasal, you know, picker upper, if you would call it. Freshly rinsed Pilsner glass. All right. So we got a big, honking, beefy, two-finger head here. It is it is a white head. Um, we got nothing but medium to small-looking bubbles. Actually, we got nothing but about small bubbles here. As you can tell, all small. That's it. We definitely have a beer that looks like it could be a lager or a pilsner here. Ha, <laughs> Just got it up my nose. <sighs> all right, well, I'm going to smell this when there's no head, all right? Because I don't want to suck up any foam. Look at You can see right here there's like a gap where my nose sucked it up. All right. Lots of carbonation. Oh, my nose. All right, let's go for the kill here. So, this is a lager. Woo -hoo -hoo. <coughs> Goosebumps. Um, but it does taste and ooze the essence of Pilsner all the way around. And I have to tell you that with the combination of hops and yeast and blue nose, whatever the heck that stuff was, it's got more body to it than usual. Uh, that's definitely giving it an added bonus. I There's a lot of bland flavors that usually come with a Pilsner, and a 
Well, it's not bad. Um, so Garrison's done it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. All right, well, let's see if I can fix something up now. Yeah, there's like little to no uh, aroma coming from this beer at all. If anything, I'm picking up the faintest, faintest bit of a, you know, your average Pilsner aroma. So another reason why I don't like reviewing beers like this is um, there's really not too much you can say about a pilsner. Or, uh, from from every perspective you look at it, okay? You can talk about color being the same color all the time. You can talk about taste being the same taste all the time. You can talk about carbonation being the same carbonation all the time. It's incredibly, incredibly boring to review a pilsner. So... For those who are, who are looking to expect uh, anything more out of this review, I apologize, but you're not going to be getting too much. Um, at least I can tell you that I can tolerate this beer. It's not bad, but it's not good. Um, it's not great. That's better than saying it's not good, because it's not bad. Um, I would definitely recommend it to people who love Pilsners. Will I buy this again? No. So there you have it, people. Pilsner. <laughs> um, okay, so in Pilsner land, I'm going to be rating this out of 10 for Pilsners. And considering all the Pilsners that I've ever had in my life, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 for Pilsners. And that's easily the highest review uh, rating that I've ever given a Pilsner. So... If you like your Pilsners, dig it, all right? So until then, I'm going to be uh, sipping back on the rest of this bottle the best that I can. We're playing some video games. And uh, that's it, man. Um, you got your rating. You got your beer. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive. Just freaking drink responsibly. Right, pasta? Right? Right? She agrees. All right, people. Cheers.